happiness and welcome back wait a minute should be saying welcome back to me you guys are probably still there and I've been taking a break from it for a while sorry I went to our home in Mexico and tried to give you some content from there but sorry about the bug eating thing <laughs> they weren't really that bad it was something fun to do something stupid sorry about that and we got back here and uh, to the States and uh, jumped right into a project uh, first work day back right down the street a 400 square foot room addition very close here so the carpenter's been kind of tired getting old getting tired but uh, working right alongside the guys uh, framing a house right now or framing part of a house um, we are today gonna talk about 8 inch red wings Mostly 8 inch red wing mocks, but I got another special <laughs> special treat right here. Um, you saw a lot of my 8 inch mocks, like the 8829 Billy Boot with the knife and little pocket, and the kind of the some of the um, 877s that I had um, with special heels and soles, Dr. Soles put on them. And so this is just pretty much stock red wings here, except for some kilt these these are pretty stock um, so I like to start out with these right here these are the 8125 blueberry mule skinner all these are gonna these uh, mock toes right here today are gonna have the wedge sole I got these from one of our German friends they are a European release these ones are from 2011 got a little veg tan kilty false tongue in there thank you to our friend Dale uh, Aero Surfer LE LV uh, at Dale's Leatherworks for, for the the kilties that he's provided to me and that's a great place to get kilties I love these man I was looking for these for a long time they're the Blueberry Mule Skinner. It's not a suede or a gamusa, as we say in Spanish. It's a rough out leather. A suede is something that's kind of the leather split in two and combed a lot. Um, it's, that's why it's not very thick. It's very soft and supple for jackets and whatnot. This is rough out leather. It has blue shiny leather there on the inside, if you can see that. Silver eyelets, 360 degree welt. I love them. Waited for a long time to get those and wound up getting them from one of the German brothers. Now the most iconic Red Wing probably of all time, one that really started it off for all the Mokto madness, Mocktober, the most iconic looking boot. I think they got a giant one size 500 or whatever, I don't know that they parade down the street in Red Wing, Minnesota. This is not the 877, it's the 10877. Okay? The 10877, this boot right here, if you go on the Red Wing site, it's what the one they're advertising as a work boot. Okay? The 877, which is really the original iconic, okay, is just like this. They have it in, in the heritage page there. Um, and the only difference that I can really see is the eyelets these have kind of a a, a black or very dark uh, black charcoal ish antique i don't know what they're they're looking pretty black to me eyelets no speed hooks just eyelets all the way up um the 877 has silver and uh it's supposed to be a different leather so this leather is supposed to be i gotta look this up this is oro original leather oro meaning gold in Spanish and uh, this is the Oro original leather and I, I don't I know these look brand new this is the first time these are out of the box I know you guys are gonna say wear them yeah I know when you got as many boots as me it's hard to wear all of them I choose different stuff all the time I'm actually wearing Professor Barnett's boots today uh, from Indonesia and this is a rock mount ranch wear shirt uh, handmade United States from Colorado um, okay I have but I do have the 875 okay so the 875 is the six inch mock the eight inch the six inch okay I think you can see right there maybe so this is the oral legacy the gold legacy okay this one they're selling as heritage the gold legacy oral legacy 
as this one is Oro original. Look, it looks like this one, the legacy one or the heritage one, it's a little tiny bit more orangey, I don't know. Looks like, I mean, these are both pretty much brand new. Looks like this leather here has a little bit more oils in it. It's a little bit more shiny, okay? And it's a little tiny, tiny bit more orangey. For guys like me, I can't tell the difference, you know? I mean, they've got these leather guys, they know. And I love good leather, but I don't know all the details on the leather. So, those are the 10877s. 10875, okay, would be the 6 inch. 77 is the 8 inch in the, in the 10875 or the 8... Uh, 8875 8, or the 10877s or the 877s. You will be seeing these more in upcoming videos. Um, yeah, I have more videos to do. I, I, there's some boots incoming, so there's going to be at least a couple, um, probably a couple inter more international boot reviews. I've received some boots internationally. If you follow me on Instagram, I bought some shark boots, Tiburon in Spanish. Uh, that were made in um, Leon, Guanajuato, and I am going to showcase those. There's another pair of boots coming uh, that I've already received from Nanyasella. I'm just waiting for the um, a, a third boot to come in, and uh, I am having the boot philosophy boot from our friend Teak in Australia. And so, as soon as we get some of those other boots, uh, if, you know, four or five pairs. International, we'll have international, we'll have a couple more international. We're going to have a couple miscellaneous. We have miscellaneous, I think I only have two or three pairs of thoroughgoods. Not really into the thoroughgood work boots. Every time I get a pair, I give them away. Um, a lot of them are lined with a synthetic. I do not like that. The ones that aren't, um, I don't know what it is. They're too comfortable right out of the box. I, I, that may sound weird, but um, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I end up giving them to the workers, and so, but I have a couple of thorough goods of their 1892 line, and um, which are their heritage boots. I'm going to show those with some other miscellaneous boots, one of a kind boots that I have, and let's see, I have military boots, many of them vintage, uh, 50, 70 years old. Um, I have the, the gaiters for some of those vintage to show off. And some replicas from the Second World War, a pair of replicas from the Second World War. I'm going to show those off. And then last but not least, if we ever get through all this, and John has done his whole collection, the carpenter, that's me, um, we will be doing the Red Wing 6-inch mock toes. You just saw the 875s. That's the biggest part of my collection. I started out as, as a pure Red Wing collector. And... Um, so the six inch mocks, I got a bunch of different colors. I got some uh, different makeups. Um, and so I might have to split those into two videos. So that's coming up now. We have the 8830s here. Okay, you see, this is what they look like with the silver. You know, that's a different leather. This is Copper Rough and Tough, my favorite leather of all time. CRT, Copper Rough and Tough. See how it looks like with the silver? Lots of guys want to add speed hooks up there for work getting dressed and undressed when you're late out of the shower trying to get ready to get in the truck with the guys speed hooks are good for me the copper rough and tough yes I have worn these a few times I love the leather the copper rough and tough versus the Oro original in the 10877-8830 I'm loving the copper rough and tough I like them all I had to get this one because it's the iconic one I have a couple different pairs of these that you already saw that I put some fancy Dr. Souls on. This is my one. Got to have the iconic boot there in the box. Never worn it. Probably will, but haven't yet. Now, the last boot for today, what we got, looks like we have a shorter video, is the 4585. Another strictly European release like the blueberry mule skinners the blueberry mule skinners this pair was from 2011 these are from 2019 it is the briar oil slick leather um with the lug sole it's kind of like the um i got the same boot i think it's the i don't know something four four one three eight four two three eight um but it's briar oil it's called the roughneck it was the first 
heritage boot that I bought, period. And I had a trip I had to work up in Seattle, and I walked around in Seattle in those um, Briar Oil Slick 4238, 4138, Roughnecks. It's a, it's a six inch mock toe with a Vibram 100 lug sole. Walked around, loved them so much. And then I started looking for more, and I, it, you know, it's a rabbit hole. I kept getting more and more and more, you know, I got more. Um, but those were the first ones, but I love this leather. Briar Oil Slick. I haven't really done anything to them. They're kind of shiny. I got these from our friend in Georgia, John. You know who they, you know who you are. He knew that I loved them. He teases me a lot. He's got the, I, he's got more, more than Mr. Cook. Uh, Mr. Cook tells that he has or had the biggest Red Wing collection in the United States. My friend John from Georgia beats him. I know. I've seen. And I got those out of his collection. There's another pair of boots I got from him that you will see, which are the Maze Mustang 6-inch that I was dying for. And he also provided those. Um, these are a size 10. All the rest of these are 10 and a half. These actually fit me okay in the 10. I'm fine in these. And I really, really super like these. They are called the Briar Oil Slick Lager 4585. So that's it for today. A little bit shorter of a video. And I wanted to talk to you about, first, about the holidays. And I know that there's a lot of different holidays in different lands. Um, we have a holiday here in the United States, which is coming up in less than a week, called Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. It's not strictly, strictly religious, although we pray. Um, it's about being, having gratitude and thanks to other people, to the immigrant peoples that were here that we pretty much decimated in a lot of ways. God forgive us, the Europeans coming here, but um, to thank the indigenous for helping, the, the indigenous help those first English people survive through the first couple winters here. And uh, a lot of different expeditions just all died and perished. Um, Roanoke Island, all those people perished. They were the first ones dropped off here. But when the pilgrims were here, um, they had corn, which corn was something that was not in the old world. Um, I don't think that squash was in the old world. Chocolate wasn't in the old world. Peppers uh, weren't in the old world. Uh, a lot of those things came, but they had corn here on this uh, North American continent. And so they helped them to learn how to grow food, help them learn how to survive in the harsh New England winters. And uh, at one point, they all sat down to a meal and gave thanks. And if you're these people now that you all eat in a different room, you eat in front of the TV, you know, maybe be beyond holidays or special occasions, sit down at the table and eat together. You know what? It is the absolute number one way to fellowship, to feel part of someone else's life, is to share a meal. Jesus did that with the disciples, I don't know, a few nights before he died there. Um, and uh, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday because it's not about giving, it's not about receiving, it's not about how much you have and you don't feel bad because you don't have, it's about sharing a meal and being thankful. And you know what? Sharing is what we need to do, and being thankful is what we need to do. So you may have much, you, you may have little. Thank someone for what you got. Be thankful towards yourself if you're a hard worker. Thank your family. Thank your husband. Thank your wife. Thank your children for being a part of your life. Thank your God if you have one. And be thankful. I know our friend Teak from Bootlosophy. He gives credit to the indigenous, indigenous people of that continent, Australia, every single video. And I think that's noble. And I respect and I admire that young man. And uh, we always need to acknowledge other people, to have gratitude, and to be thankful. We're going to talk a little bit more about depression and Christmas and uh, all the things that come uh, with the end of the year. And the next holiday, we call it the holidays here, if you're not familiar, because we have Thanksgiving, we have Christmas, and we celebrate our uh, New Year's Eve or New Year's on what is the last day of our calendar, December 31st. So that's why they're called the holidays. There's different, more, less, other holidays, different religions that are here. In the United States, we have people from every walk of life, every country, 
and culture on earth here. And you know what? I'm thankful that all you other people are here. My family came from England, 1625. And I'm from an Im immigrant family. I didn't do anything to deserve to be here. I didn't, I, you know, they didn't have papers when they came here. They just came looking for a better life. And the mistakes that they made and the lives that they may have destroyed, that happened and that's in the past. We need to love each other, recognize, and be thankful and happy where you descended from, where other people descended from, if they're different culturally from you, if they're different in any way from you. Be thankful. The difference between us, that's the jelly, like Michael Jackson would say. That's the sweet part of life. That's the flavor of life, the differences between us. So do not be insecure that people are different from you, speaking a different language, having different foods, different religions. Be happy. Learn about it. Man, when you learn things, it makes you a better person. Whether you like what you learn or you don't like what you learn, it gives you wisdom and helps you to know how to reach out in love. So this holiday season, this day, next Thursday, Thanksgiving, and every day, be thankful for what you got. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for you sharing this time with me. God bless you. The carpenter loves you.